Hello guys I'm DVM I hope you all are doing well and today's video is gonna be about Sky Rojo season 3 so let's get right into the video. Sky Rojo season 3 stars Veronica Sanchez as Coral, Lali Esposito as Wendy, Yanni Prado as Gina, Asia Itziandia as Romeo, Miguel Angel Sylvester as Moises and others. It is created by Money Heist's Alex Pina and has 8 episodes of 35 to 40 minutes each. The Spanish series has English subtitles and is also dubbed. So, friends if you're a Sky Rojo lover then please subscribe my channel. Let's get back to our video. After escaping with 4 million euros from their pimp, Coral, Veronica Sanchez, Wendy, Lali Esposito, and Gina, Yoni Prado begin to look forward to the possibility of a new life in a remote fishing village. Far from Romeo, Asia Itziandia, and Moises, Miguel Angel Silvestra need for revenge. You can resurrect, you can change your life, but you cannot forget where you came from. Because the day you do, the past appears again at your door. After attacking Romeo and taking 4 million euros from his club, Coral, Wendy, and Gina try to start fresh. They start living in a remote village and have a baking business. The girls find a new love and hope things will only go right. However, their past haunts them back when Romeo and Moises discover their whereabouts. The duo wants to seek revenge by killing the ladies. I hope you are enjoying this video then do subscribe fast. The new season of Sky Rojo on Netflix is heavily promoted with how the girls have to face their past. It is funny, considering that is exactly what they did in season 2. Even in season 2, their attempt to start a fresh failed because of Romeo and his men. So the third season, despite adding new characters and places, doesn't offer anything substantial. The problem I had in season 2 was how the makers hardly offered anything in the story. In the new season, they tried to amp up the emotional quotient, but not regarding ladies in depth. The men in the story are also given a platform to share their thoughts and emotions. I will never appreciate the show trying to show the problems and pain of men who enjoy raping women of every age and hurting them physically and emotionally beyond repair. So, friends if you're still watching that means you're liking this video. Every time Moise's voiceover would start where he shared his thoughts, I rolled my eyes. He's the man who enables and supports people like Moise. It's ridiculous to see him trying to change at the end of the scene where Romeo realizes how he would have a better life with his kid. Who cares? These men didn't care about anything until they sensed death around them. They had no remorse for putting so many women through torture and in hell. Coming to the characters of Wendy, Coral and Gina, it just sucks how these girls become the background character of their own stories. Their characters are just running here and there, with the plot not giving them any good growth. Coral is still a drug addict. The makers added a new female character to the show. At this point, a new character adds more to the crowd, a series that hardly has anything interesting to tell. Overall, Sky Rojo Season 3 didn't have anything significant to tell. It feels disjointed from the main premise, like a completely different show from Season 1. Apart from the girls getting their freedom, which I believe they got better in Season 1 when they escaped, the Netflix series finale season had nothing much to offer. Sky Rojo finale season is now streaming on Netflix. If you have watched this video which means you have liked it. So, thanks guys have a wonderful day bye. And don't forget to subscribe.